Hey, Paulie. Meet me at the park now. And niggas ain't fucking with niggas from the South for real. If you wasn't on the radio, or you wasn't on TRL, or like, like the big, big, big stages, bro, like, you know, motherfuckers didn't really see the the potential or the value Facts. as much. You know what I mean? And this was the same year. Let me see. What would be that year? It was like Nelly. You know what I mean? When Nelly yep. was, you know, country grandma. And this motherfucker here was selling millions and millions of records a week. And, you know, so motherfuckers looking for that. And it's like, yeah, well... And then you come and talking this trap shit. Yeah. And these niggas don't talk this trap shit. And niggas are still yeah. on lyrical shit and fun music and talking music, writing songs and shit. Right. right. So so it was like in between the Nelly, the Nelly Country Grandma album. The only motherfuckers who was having it they way like that for real that was underground but mainstream at the same time that I can remember is uh Cash Money with the juvenile four hundred degree shit, Lil Wayne, Hot Boys, BG, you know what I'm saying? You know, that was kinda like and, and of course, you know, uh, Master P and No Limit were having, you know, they, they, they last, they last who raw at it at the time. But when he let me go, my name was buzzing so hard, I could, I could go in any office and, and get any motherfucking thing I want. Uh, oh, another motherfucker that was going off at the time, Ludacris. Yeah. Ludacris was just jumping off, and he would got down. He jumped off and shot straight through the roof. Because he came out the radio station. Thanks. You know what I mean? Chris he love already love had, him. absolutely, him and Poon, they already had Poon the game strategically mapped out. And, you know, they had their shit together way more than we did, you know. They was already working a relationship. It, it was sure. secondhand. It was easy for them. Sure. You know, we had the streets, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had, we were willing to go to old places where didn't nobody else go. I remember, I think I went to Rome, Georgia. Yeah, I went to Rome, Georgia. And I be goddamn, yeah, while I'm doing Dope Boy, halfway through the first verse, nigga got shot while I'm on stage. Damn. <laughs> nigga, I heard pop. And at first, I'm like, what the fuck? And I saw the crowd, I'm like, oh shit, they shooting. They get the fuck on, man. What you talking about? Man, we got the hell on. They weren't shooting at us. Yeah. They, they got their man, like whoever they were got them. Oh, they trying to go anyway. Hell yeah, man. Shit, let's get the fuck on up out of here. And, you know, that was the shortest show I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker shit before they could even start the song, nigga. We was in the van, goddamn. Fuck you talking about. Um, but so we were known for going places where a lot of motherfuckers did not go, would not go. Um, and I think that is uh that's kind of what developed the relationship that I have with the people in the areas that motherfuckers don't really expect expect. For a motherfucker to really communicate with them, relate to them, you know, interact with them. Niggas weren't going there. And again, let me put it in reference. Niggas wasn't doing shit like right. that at this time. Niggas do it every, like, you know, it's coming. It's coming now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But at this time, niggas weren't doing that. Niggas yeah. weren't going to the projects. Niggas weren't fucking with hood niggas. The 